the 1410 rear frame plumbing installation upper tube assembly. At the left rear corner install the bulkhead fittings, the T at the bottom and a straight bulkhead fitting just slightly above. Next add the 90 degree swivel to the T. Repeat the same bulkhead configuration on the right side of the machine. On the top pipe you'll see a three hole bulkhead to install the 90 degree fittings. Install all fittings. On the right side, use the two forward holes for the 90 degree fittings. Next, we'll install the hoses working from left to right. Each one of the hoses is identified with a label. The first hose install is number 12, valve to push off base, and this will be secured to the port C of the valve. Sometimes connecting hose may be difficult, so bend the bulkhead up slightly to have access to the threads. Tighten each hose up as you go for better clearance while installing. The next hydraulic hose to install is identified by number 13, valve to apron base, and that is secured to valve port D. Secure all hydraulic lines and tighten again before moving on to the next. The third hydraulic hose to be installed is identified by number 14, valve to push off rod, and is secured to valve port B. Like the others, fully tighten before moving on. Now connect the number 11 feed to valve hose to valve port A, which is connected to the vertical bulkhead fitting. The next step is we're gonna run the hydraulic lines through the top tube of the rear frame. We'll dissolve away some of the components so you can see the connections. The first hose we'll install will be on the farthest forward 90 degree fitting and is labeled by number 19 bulkhead to push off base. Route the hoses within the rear tail to make sure it does not come in contact with the push-off while moving forward. On the base end of the push-off cylinder, install the ORB 90 degree JIC fitting, as well as the 90 degree on the hard line coming from the rod end. We'll leave these fittings loose for easier hydraulic hose hookup. Once you have the hose hooked up, tighten the ORB base and fitting, as well as the fitting on the 90. Now connect the opposite end of the hose to the leftmost 90 degree fitting on the bulkhead. Like before, tighten the fitting fully before moving on to the next hose. The next hose is identified by number 20, apron base through tube. This hydraulic line passes through the top tube and is connected to the middle of the three on the left and the back 90 degree fitting on the right. Tighten both fittings before advancing to the next hose. The last hose to be added to the bulkheads is labeled by number 18, through tube with T. There's two of these hoses that are secured together with a T in the middle of the pipe. Tighten both fittings at the bulkhead. Now add the T to the other ends of the hose in the middle of the pipe. Make sure you orientate the T in the middle to allow the hose to follow the other hose feeding the ejector cylinder. Tighten the hydraulic hoses that feed the T. The last hose to be added in this area is number 17, T and tube to push off rod. It is easier to install the hose from the bottom while threading it through the frame up to the T. Connect the other end of the hose to the 90 degree JIC fitting. Make sure that the fitting is loose so you can orientate the hydraulic hose routing to properly clear the ejector panel while it's moving forward and back. Firmly tighten the hydraulic fittings on the front T and the back port. Next, install the heavy dirt shield over the rear ejector tail. Add the flat washers and nuts and tighten fully. This completes installation of the upper tube assembly plumbing. Please refer to the lower tube assembly for further plumbing.